What is up guys, it's your boy Mad Loafer back again with some timeless tutorials and we are doing a timeless tutorial by the weekend. Let me waste no time, let us get into this thing boys. Ever since I was a kid, I'm really cheap, yeah. If I was you, I would cut on my wrist. Act so tired and all of my body, yeah, yeah. She just wanna roll and I don't mind it. Now that's a banger guys, now that's a banger, let me waste no time, let us get into the main meat, I'm gonna explain everything I did to get those vocals to sound like that, you know I don't leave anything, I don't leave any stone unturned, <laughs> we're gonna start with the recording chain guys, so let me bypass this, so this is the recording chain you're gonna use. This is where you're gonna track your vocals. Make sure this is on post effects. So after tracking your vocals, they're gonna sound like this. Ever since I was a kid, I will really cheat, yeah. If I was you, I would cut on my wrist. Act so tired and all over your body, yeah, yeah. She just wanna roll and I don't mind it. So that's the tracking plugins only. The tracking chain is super sick super sick i'm gonna make sure i leave the link of this template down below now let us get into the main meat the lead vocal chain oh my god so i went for a meta flanger the aim of the meta flanger was to emulate that flangy sound you usually hear on those r b songs yeah so i'm just using the chorus lights the mix knob is on 10 percent i didn't do anything then i went for the parametric eq just to tone shape the vocals i rolled off the low end and i had on the, 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 those vocals the weekend vocals had more mid mid range so i decided to boost the low mid boost the mid a little bit and boost also the mid here and i rolled off the presence here up to 5k then i rolled off the high end let us listen to that ever since i was a jit and i've been legit nah, you should let it go she wanna be it. That's the parametric EQ. Then I went for the studio rack. On my studio rack, I wanted to remove some background noise and just to ride my vocals with the vocal rider. Nothing huge. Uh, it's on 10% here, 10 dB. Then I use the C1 gate, just like this. Just removing that background noise, making sure we're not getting any of that. Then I went for the vocal rider just to make sure when I put more compressors along the chain, I'm not going to get any kind of distortion. I wanted this thing to control my vocals automatically. So here I'm not working. This thing is working for me. <laughs> Let us listen to that. Ever since I was legit and I've been legit. Nah, you should let it go. She want to be here. And this is on fast. Ever since I was a jit and I've been legit. Nah, you should let it go, she wanna be it. Yeah, that's the studio red guys. Then I went for the fresh air. That's where I exaggerated some things. <laughs> it's the first time doing this. The high air and the mid air is on 80% and I didn't trim this one. Let us listen to that. Ever since I was a jit and I've been legit. Nah. You should let it go, she wanna be it. Mm -hmm. Double O, on a party, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Then I went for the Xbox DSO just to control the fresh air. I wanted that sound of the fresh air, but in a controlled way. Ever since I was legit and I've been legit. Nah. You should let it go, she wanna be it. 
double O, turn it on a party, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you can hear the difference. Then I decided to use this plugin here just to add some A. And I used the first preset, the clarity one. And I turned on the A knob here just to get that A. Ever since I was legit and never legit, nah, you should let it go, she wanna be, nah, double O, turn it on a party, yeah, yeah. It don't matter what I say, I'm timeless, yeah, yeah. Oh, city on fire When I'm coming home Fill out the sky This is a very good plugin If you want those crispy High-end vocals Then I went for the Pro-Q3 On the Pro-Q3 I wanted to control Some frequencies I didn't want Yeah, I'm sure you can see I'm dipping down here, dipping down here Also dipping down here Let us listen to this EQ Ever since I was legit And I've been legit And i you should let her go, she wanna be you. Mm -hmm. Double O, turn it on a party, yeah, yeah. It don't matter what I say, I'm timeless, yeah, yeah. Super sick, super sick. Then I went for another studio rec where I'm doing a lot of processing. I went for another vocal writer here just to take care of the vocals. Let's listen to that. Ever since I was legit and I've been legit, nah. You should let her go, she wanna be mm -hmm. Then I went for the NS1 just to remove the background noise introduced by those high-end plugins, those top-end plugins. Ever since I was legit and I've been legit. Nah. You should let her go, she wanna be ye. After that, I went for the C4. The aim of the C4 was to introduce the mid-range more and just to take care of the high-end and to take care of the low end listen listen to that ever since i was legit and i've been legit nah, you should let it go she wanna be ye. i'm sure you can hear we're getting more mid-range then i went for a dsa here from 2k to the top ever since i was legit and i've been legit nah, you should let it go she wanna be ye. super sick then i went for the legendary c6 boys you know this preset, but I changed it a little bit. Then there, just to compensate for these vocals I'm working on. Because you can use this C6 preset, but vocals are not the same. And you gotta go there and fine-tune everything. I decided to roll off this. Ever since I was a bit, another legit. And, and also roll off this. Yes, yeah, so... Then I boosted the top end to dB. I didn't control it with the threshold. The only bands I controlled is the low, the mids, and the highs. Let us listen to that. Ever since I was legit and I've been legit. Nah, you should let her go, she wanna be ye. Nah, double O, turn it on a party, yeah, yeah. Very, very good, very, very good. Then I went for the SSLE channel. On this one, I'm just introducing some compression and rolling off 100 hertz up to minus 6 dB. I'm boosting 8K to dB. Then I'm utilizing the legendary compressor move. Then the ratio is on 1,8. I rolled off the low end here on the filters and I rolled off the high end up to 14. Let us listen to that. Double O, turn it on a party, yeah, yeah. It don't matter what I say, I'm timeless, yeah, yeah. So this thing is just shining my vocals and bringing my vocals in your face. Then I went for the NLS channel. I'm using the Nevo on this one. And on the output, I rolled off like minus 0 0.5. Drive 6 dB. Ever since I was legit and I've been legit. Nah, you should let her go, she wanna be ye. Mm. Yes, sir, we're just getting that never saturation then i decided to go for the eq just to roll off the low end a little bit ever since i was legit and i've been legit nah, you should let her go she wanna be ye. Nah, double o turn it on a party yeah yeah it don't matter yes sir that's the studio rec guys so without the studio rec ever since i was legit and i've been legit with the studio rec 
ever since I was a jit and never legit. Very controlled. Then I went for the visual mix work. On the visual mix work, I decided to use the classic gates just to remove some background noise. Then I used the FG73 just to introduce that drive. Then I also included the trim here just to trim the drive. Then I used the classic tubes, the FG12. I uh, felt like this mic was good for these vocals. Then I went for the FG Stress using the In Your Face vocal preset, but I made sure my compression is not like doing a lot. That's why I messed around with the input here. It's around 5,40. Then I'm using the EQ just to roll off the low end on the filter here. That's the only thing I did. Then I went for the FG76 just to introduce some distortion again. Uh, you gotta make sure this one is on 180 here. Then I introduced the trim. Let us listen to the visual mix work. Ever since I was legit and I've been legit. Nah, you should let it go. She wanna be it. Without it. Ever since I was legit and I've been legit. Nah. You should let it go, she wanna be it. Yes, uh, then I went for the studio rack. On the studio rack, I'm just introducing the DVX160, the lead vocal preset. Um, this is on 6.5, I didn't do anything. Then I went for the NS1. On the NS1, I wanted to remove the vocal noise introduced by the mics, all the saturation, all the plugins that are there. Yes, uh, that's the aim of the NS1. Then I went for the DSR. On the DSR, I'm just removing this frequency. I didn't like that. Ever since I was a jit, another legit. I had to remove that. Then I went for another DSR. On this one, I'm re removing uh, close to 5K, this frequency. I just want crispy clean vocals not harsh vocals then i went for the rq again just rolling off the high end and rolling off the low end ever since i was a jit and i've been legit don't be scared to do what you feel like you should do guys if you know what you are doing don't be scared to do anything then i went for the l1 limit at the end of the chain just to make sure i'm controlling the peaks ever since i was a jit and i've been legit nah. You should let it go, she wanna be it. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Now let us move to the reverb. What I'm gonna do is uh let me do this so I can save my CPU. I'm gonna consolidate this. So we're done consolidating that. So these are the mixed vocals. I'm gonna route them to this mixer track here. Rename it mixed mixed lead. Yeah, and we're gonna bypass the plugins here and we're gonna route this one to these buses. Yes, so let me do this. So these are the vocals with the lead vocal chain only with this lead vocal chain. Ever since I was a kid, I will really cheat, yeah. If I was you out, got on my wrist. Now let me apply the reverbs. Cheat, yeah. If I was you out, got on my wrist. Exo cloud it all over your body, yeah, yeah. She just wanna roll it out of my so let me explain the reverbs so on my reverb bus i got the bx rooms this is like the coolest reverb if you wanna get those shiny reverbs those toy lanes those those big shiny crispy high-end reverb this is a very good reverbs the bx rooms from Brainworks Plugin Alliance. Then I went for the saturation knob uh, just to saturate the highs a little bit. 
Then I went for the parametric EQ just to control the frequency of my reverbs. Then I decided to go for the air chorus so I can introduce that flangy chorusy sound. Let us listen to that. Ever since I was a jit and I've been legit. Nah, you should let it go, she wanna be it. Nah, double out, tied it on a party, yeah, yeah. It don't matter what to say, I'm timeless, yeah, yeah. Now let us move to the delay bus. On my delay bus, I'm using the edge delay. And this is on lo fi, ping pong. Gotta make sure you press the BPM knob so you can set your delay in a proper way. I uh, rolled off the low end here up to here. Then I uh, also rolled off the high end up to here. Then I went for the doubler just to spread my delay to the sides and roll off the low end a little bit. Then I went for the saturation knob just to make my delay stand out. Then I went for the Meta Flanger just to introduce some movement. We are nothing with the Meta Flanger on those delays. Let us listen to this delay alone. Ever since I was a jit and I've been legit. Nah, you should let it go, she wanna be it. Nah, double out, tied on a party, yeah, yeah. It don't matter what to say, I'm timeless, yeah, yeah. So the ad lips are just simple. If you are smart enough, you're gonna understand the ad lips are just simple. Mighty, yeah. So these are the ad lips. So if you track your vocals with this recording chain, it's gonna be easy for you to pull up with some good ad lips. The thing I did here is just introduce the reverb the stock one then i went for the meta flanger chorus light fruity parametric eq i also rolled off the low end here then i got this Yeah. If I on my wrist, 